Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to deck profile the Mathemech deck I've been playing with these past couple locals. I kind of picked the deck up after not playing with it since Pote and just have been doing really well with it. So I'm just going to show you off the list that I got first place with my locals. I got the three circulars, the best one card starter, your essential mag soul is pretty standard there with the lineup here with two sigmas, three diameters, two additions two subtractions and then the one factorial and the one equation then for extenders we also have three parallel x seeds which is kind of cool because it's a nice bridge for small world as well triple mining then the triple draw for the hand trap lineup because we really like this card this format it's been overperforming for me at locals triple ash generically good triple imperm has been quite good double veiler it has been helpful because it's a small road bridge and just having a veiler that you can draw into a heat soul is nice since you can't play imperms from hand if you have heat soul on the field then two bells i play this in case i run into mirror main deck bestials anything of the sort that might ruin me or like the branded expulsion stuff like that one Jizu Kiru for Small World Bridge, plus it's searchable off Small World in case you need to out something. Then triple Small World, as I mentioned, with all the bridging. This card's absolutely amazing in this deck. It's such good bait, too, considering they can fear a Kaiju search off of the Small World, so they might just negate it, and you don't even have to pitch the card from hand. Then double clips and uh, tactics to round off some going second cards eclipse i've like almost never drawn into and when i did it got ash so it's really awkward but the theory is still there to help break boards because you can otk very easily the one triple t has been helpful it feels a little odd since it's a one of but like you never have to worry about drawing two so that's a plus in some scenarios extra deck uh two alambertians and one laplacian relatively standard the one lingeribo to link off your level four cybers is to dodge trap cards or if you really have to make a play with it you can it comes up to get your x seeds off uh, one link spider if you get nibbed you make a link spider you summon any extender and you can make this to go into transcode to you know your standard access line so i actually did um run into a game where i got hit by ash uh imperm um i had the bell for the mirrors super factorial and they had a nib and i was able to still make two access codes i got nibbed on my access code and then i was able to make the second access code for game then all mirage in case you have to do normal summon plays similar to the lingeribo double splash in case you have to use one get turn one and turn two and it's kind of there in case of Kashtira, though they might hit this card instead since I'm only playing one of Update Jammer. It's been really nice. If you know you're playing against Kashtira, you might want to just make this turn one if you can afford the resources instead of going into like the Cyber's Wit Kid or the Splash Mage. Just so you can have it in Graveyard if you don't think they have a way to banish it from Grave. Then uh, the One Heat Soul card's great. You draw a lot of cards in this deck thanks to it especially if it stays on board then one transcode i kind of also want to play two of this card because of cash tier or you could do like turn ones where you make transcode co-link to heat soul and then you have an extra one for follow-up then as two access codes as i mentioned to round it off card is absolutely insane comes up a lot having the second copy so i definitely recommend it if you can play it Lastly, we're going into our side deck here. We're playing the slightly odd ratio to Gamma 1 Driver. It does look funny, but it has been working very well in practice. And even if you open this driver, if you can get Small World, then you can start trying to play the game through those kinds of bridges. Then I play Triple Anti-Spell, Triple Grave for going first cards. I do want to mention also, I guess with the Gamma, it is really there for the shifters and cash terror matchups. Like you can small road, search this, and on res, they'll have to mandatory use a rise hard to get Gamma there, which is a really cool interaction. Um, 
hates back row hate duster triple cyclone especially like people with anti-spell this deck kind of can't play through it if you open those hands where you open all spells and then also one Danko, it is searchable and if you go first against something like labyrinth you can try to summon this and they most likely won't be able to out it especially if backed with like a super factorial and then one called by for the shifters or any other matchups you think people might start to decide hand traps for you then if you know you're going first or maybe even second in certain matchups you can have this called by as a protection yeah, that was the entire deck profile if you have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video